All right. <clears throat> Good news is I have a bunch of videos I forgot to upload uh, last time I recorded videos. So I didn't have to re-record re those videos because I found them. So welcome to Wood versus Lucy. Be defended here is a fashionista. Her opinions on fashion are held in very high regard because it's the 1920s and celebrity culture was just getting started and they hadn't quite figured out the Kardashians yet. So, um, she signs away her endorsement rights, her right to endorse various products for their fashionability. And um, then she went and endorsed a bunch of stuff without the plaintiff's permission. Um, there was no express consideration within the contract, but implicitly when he took on the rights, he took on the duty, right, to promote that endorsement right. She was getting half of the profit. There's no value in it for him if he doesn't promote. So the duty of the contract, the consideration he's offering to her, is that he will do that and pay her the half, right? The consideration you know, it doesn't exist. Yes, it does exist. Because you both only benefit if he does this thing. You both get fruits of this labor. And so there's this implicit consideration there that he will take his efforts to work towards the ends of this contract. Um, yeah, so you know, easy case, Wood versus Lucy.